Hey, what's going on guys? It's Lane. I'm back playing Draft Champions of Madden 16. I just want to let you guys know that I will be soon doing dual commentaries on my channel and I will be uploading a podcast. It might be up already by the time this goes live, but this video is going to be me doing a full draft plus the first game because I've been told that people want to see the first game along with the draft. So that's what we're going to do. So let's pick a head coach. I'm just going to pick the New England Patriots coach because I'm just going to imagine that's Bill Belichick. That's what I read on the screen. And who wants to be the Browns head coach? Or I didn't even see the other one. It was a bad team. The Lions, I believe it was. Ooh, Patrick Peterson or Cam Chancellor. I think I'm going to mix it up this time. Last time I went with Cam Chancellor, but how do I pass up on him? Ugh, I think I'm going to go with Patrick Peterson. I know. I know. Don't judge me. I know Cam Chancellor is better. They're giving me all kinds of beasts. Let's go with uh, Kiko Alonso. Not really sure why the Buffalo Bills traded them. I mean, McCoy's pretty good, but I, you know. Ooh, Drew Brees. Is that, would that be a bad pick? Russell Wilson's also pretty good. I think I might go Russell because he has, he's got some wheels, you know what I'm saying? So we're going to go with Russell Wilson. I've always liked the wheels on Russell Wilson. So Gresham Hayes Melton. Uh, nothing to really, nothing to really talk about there. Uh, guess I'll go Gresham just because he's the highest rate. He's not even on a team and he, and he's in this? Why would I want him if nobody else wants him? Vernon Davis, Forsett, or Watkins? Sammy Watkins, baby! I like Forsett, but I hate the Ravens. Hate them more than anything. They should be 0-4 right now. I don't know why they aren't. Is that a left tackle? Uh, let's go with the left tackle. Mar Marino's pretty good. I wouldn't mind having him on my team, but running backs get thrown out here a lot, so I'm just going to take the risk. These are some good choices. Demarcus Ware or Tlaib. I get two Broncos players. I feel like I should go Tlaib. I think I will go with Tlaib. So we got Patrick Peterson, Akeem Tlaib. Not bad cornerbacks if you ask me. See, there's a running back. Not somebody I want, but there's a running back. We're going to go with the right guard, obviously, because we're not going to take another quarterback because that would just be dumb. Jamie Collins. I am going to go with good old Jamie Collins. I love Jamie Collins. He's such a solid player on the Patriots. I think it's his second year this year, and he's doing pretty good. He did great last year. So we're going to go with the number 81 or the rank 81. Oh, I already had a middle linebacker. We can, we can move him over. I should probably be more aware next time I'm picking that. We're going to go with this guy. Never heard of you before, but I need a strong safety. I need a good secondary. That's what leads to success in draft champions, if you ask me. So I just took a strong safety, so we'll take a free safety. We need some sort of running back. Please. Not Jeremy Hill, though. I do not want Jeremy Hill. I'll take the left guard. Who is my running back? Robinson? Don't know who you are. Des Bryant, Richard Sherman? What is going on? These are such good choices. I took Des last time, but I don't really need another cornerback. So I guess we're going to... Do I have a right tackle? Would I be foolish? Would I be foolish enough to take a right tackle over Des Bryant? Got to think about this for a second. I got Watkins. We're going Des. I'd be, it'd be silly not to go with Des. Running back, running back, running back. Curtis Martin, baby, you're on my team. I was, I liked you last time we played in the other series, so we're going with you again. John Elway, though, I wish I had the chance to pick him. And Ty Law, I love you. You're a Patriot, but we're going with Curtin Martis. Curtin, Curtis Martin put those both together, who is also a Patriot. So, you know, I love my Patriots, but we're going to jump right into the first game, guys. Here we go. So I'd like to know, guys, let me know down in the comments below. Would you rather see it the way I'm going to edit this video, where I'm going to cut it into bits and pieces and see that? Or would you rather see me play a complete game with all the like downtime in between games, stuff like that? Definitely let me know. I've been thinking about doing full games, but I don't know if that's too long for you guys and you'd rather just a nice short cut so there's actually action, so you're seeing something. I mean, I, I could see it going either way with you guys. I'm not sure what you'd rather see, so definitely let me know. So we're going to try to go for a nice inside cross. If you watched any of my series before, you know I like to dip and dunk, as they call it, in the business. So that's what I'm going to do. So what do we got? We got Sammy Watkins going across the middle. We, I forgot. I didn't forget we had him, but we have Des Bryant. I mean, who needs Sammy Watkins when you got Des? Even though Des is injured in real life, but Sammy Watkins is also injured, actually, now that I think about it. So third and three. We're going to go with the, I feel like I should run it, but just to play it safe, we're going to do the play action Y shot. We're going to get that first down. We're going to rip apart this guy. Sniper 507-8580. God, be a little creative with your names. I understand. Maybe you want a sniper in your name. You don't need to put 30 digits after it. Wide open, baby. 
Don't even know who Moore is. Got him for the first. Here we go, Curtis Martin. You're getting the chance to shine, baby. Woo, run him over. You look good in a Patriots uniform. You look great. Push him over. He's a beast. Would it be wrong to label this title this video beast mode and then people be like, Marshawn Lynch. But they'll be, they'll be like, nope, Curtis Martin. He does it better. Okay, not really, but Curtis Martin just ran over some motherfuckers right there. Just whipped them apart. Ripped them. I said whipped them, but ripped them and whipped them. I don't care. So we're going to try to get this ball to Des Bryant in a big play. But if not, we always got Sammy Watkins under the, uh, like, dip and dunk. Dip and dunk. Oh, we got Des. Oh, come on, Des. Get that ball. All right. This isn't a huge third and eight, but we want to get a first down here. We don't want to start off with a nice, easy field goal. We want a nice touchdown. So we're going to try to get this guy right there. Woo. Get in that end zone. Oh, why did I dive too early? Oh, I'm such a fool. I am such a fool. Obviously, we're going right up the gut with Curtis Martin. He ain't going to stop us now. Let's go. Pick your play. This is automatic. This is automatic as it gets in football. Here we go. We're jumping right over that. Right over the top. Boom, baby. Touchdown. I don't know if you guys ever played some draft champions, but if you checked out my other videos, I never seem to play a full game. I did in the championship game. You should probably fucking hurry up and pick a play guy, but it never seems like I get to play a full game, which is disappointing. Like, just play better or stick it out. Maybe you can come back. I was playing an ultimate team. I wasn't recording it. I wish I was. We had a nice back and forth game. It was like 41 to 39 to end the game. I went for a two point conversion with no time left on the clock. It was rough, and I missed it, and I lost. It wasn't a big deal, but it, it, it hurt. It wasn't like this mutt Super Bowl or anything like that, but I was still hoping I would get that. At least tie the game, go into overtime, see what we can happen. I thought about doing a series in Ultimate Team, but it's so confusing because you don't really have like a good team or anything, so it's just it's hard to do, at least in my personal opinion. My team's getting pretty good in it, though. I got, like, Romo, Odell Beckham. Who else do I have? Jerry Rice. They gave out Jerry Rice last week for free. I don't know if you guys got it. If you did, if you haven't, you still might be up there when you're watching this. Go check that out. All right, here we go. Second and ten. He had that huge first play of his series of the game for him, at least. Why is he wide open? Don't I have a good secondary? Oh, my God. He has some good playmakers, it seems like. Two number 84s. He's got Roethlisberger. That's pretty decent. Let's see what we can get. He's got is that Reggie Bush, maybe? Jamarcus Finley? LaShawn McCoy? So has he got a primarily offensive team? That's what it seems like it might be. Oh, my God. My team is playing like crap. Play better, Tlaib. I picked you over Sherman. Not really, but we'll just pretend. What I have learned, though, is that they usually only people quit. Like, if it's a back-and-forth game, they won't quit. Like, right now, it's 7-7. They won't quit. If he were to say, I score right now, and then... Ooh, Curtis Martin, when did you become such a beast? But say, like, I score right here. He gets the ball back, throws an interception. He'd probably quit, depending on where it is. Like, if it's his first or second play, he'd probably quit. Which... I'll admit, I kind of understand why play a whole game if I'm going to be up two touchdowns, but you could still come back. It's not that bad. You can get a nice interception, something. Not when Curtis Martin's running all over you like this. I'm going to have two touchdowns in the first half. Uh, maybe not. I got to count my uh, chickens before they hatched. It's kind of disappointing, but let's get in that end zone. We're just going to keep running it down the gut with Curtis Martin. Nobody's stopping him on his team. Doesn't seem like like he has a good defense, really. That's not even going to be Curtis Martin. That's going to be Robinson. Who are you, you imposter? Okay, second and two. We're going to try to hit Dez, even though he looks like he has a little bit of a double coverage right there. Maybe we'll audible out of this. Let's go with the run. Run hasn't let me down before. Not yet, at least. Cut. Cut. Get across. Ooh, big hit. What a hit. Seven rushes, 81 yards, one touchdown. That, those are good stats for a whole game, yet alone the first quarter. Well, first quarter and 30 seconds, I guess. Got those good two yards right there. So I got the first down. Now we're going for a QB sneak. Russell Wilson's going to be very, very sneaky, sir. Very, very sneaky. Oh, that was a bad, bad play call. I definitely should have done that. She just gave it to my man, Curtis Martin. He's going to HB dive right into that end zone. Four yards. He doesn't care. He's going to do it, though. Guaranteed. 
Yeah, you better shift your line. Boop. Oh, God, I guaranteed and I failed. Very, very bad fail. We're going to have to pass it now. I do not want a field goal. I might go for it on fourth if I don't get this. Call me crazy. Call me whatever you want. This is a touchdown. Guarantee. Boom. Touchdown, baby. 14 to 7. If I make the field goal, but let's be honest, that's going in. So let's see if I can prove my theory right. We're gonna attempt to get an interception. Obviously, I'm always like trying to get an interception. Nothing that I can like automatically do, but I think if it happens, he will quit. That is my uh, that's my oh my ooh! I thought he got that for sure. My cornerbacks aren't really living up to what I like I was saying in the draft earlier in this video. I was hoping for some big plays. I guess I should have went with Cam Chancellor. He led my team last time, and I got interception after interception. Maybe it starts with the safety. Maybe. I, I didn't think so, but maybe I've been wrong all these years. Stop him. Yes! Let's see if it's true, guys. Let's find out. That's kind of like a long way, so it might not be true, but I have a good feeling after I pick this play, he might quit. Not yet. If I score here, though, you never know. I think I got the ball first, so... Even if I score here and waste as much time as I can, he'll still get the ball after half. So it's not a not a huge loss. Like I said, I like players like this. They don't really like overreact. Oh, I threw an interception. It happens. Or I'm completely wrong and he's going to do it right now. Who knows? I'm just going to resume playing. There we go, guys. He left just as I predicted. Down a touchdown, which I don't understand. I guess he can't stop the run game, really. But I, I just don't get why you quit. But anyways, guys, that's going to be the end of this episode of Draft Champions. Make sure to check out my other series. I think I have two other complete series of Draft Champions if you like these kind of videos. I'm loving Draft Champions so far. But I also wanted to let you guys know that I am uploading a podcast with my friend Justin on my channel. We're going to be working together on this channel to make better videos. So make sure to check that out. We're going to be uploading topic by topic, day by day, until we release the full thing on Friday. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff, Make sure to check that down below. There's going to be topics ranging from movies, TV, video games, basically anything we want to talk about. So make sure to check that out. But anyways, guys, if you liked the video, give it a like down below. Make sure to check out my channel. Subscribe if you want to get more content. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.